this tutorial is to make what I'm calling, I guess they're slap snails. Let me get them. There. This is a slap bracelet. When my kids were younger, these were the, all the rave. They were a bit more high quality than these. I got these off from Amazon, this whole big pack of, I don't know, 90-something that were, I think they were about $7. Anyway, less than 10 bucks. And I specifically got a variety that, this is October right now, and I got a variety that was not Halloween oriented and that had, you know, boy and girl themes. Not that it matters because they'll be covered up, but I figured if there were any left over, because I don't think I'm going to make 90 of these. So I try to pick out the uglier ones to cover up. The other thing that you will need, and I got these also on Amazon, both the snap or slap bracelets on Amazon, and these googly eye finger puppets. And I guess you gotta have littler fingers for that to work. So that is what is on here. And then you need also any I've been using worsted weight because it goes a little bit faster. You could use a, a thinner yarn. That would be fun. But you're going to have to do more rounds. And I'll show you how to attach after I show you how to begin. Okay, the other thing is my slap bracelets are not very high quality. And the metal part does not go all the way to the end and I don't want to use I don't want to go I don't want to cover something that doesn't include the the metal insert so what I've been doing is just simply and it does work better if you put it down in the curve where it, it seems to stay better so and lay better so that is my little tip for that to make it and what we're going to do is we're going to make a tube that covers the metal when it's stretched a bit so let's get started I use for mine um, 4.5 millimeter hook but to get started I recommend going down a half size I'm do starting out with a 4 millimeter hook for oh at least the first three rounds or so and I found this pretty yarn and Take that off. And you'll need a needle to finish off at the end, a yarn needle, and you'll need a scissor to cut your end when you get done. Now the center, that'll make it easier. Okay, to start out, you judge based on the width of your um, slat bracelet. And, oh, here's another four millimeter hook. Wondered where that went. Got left up here. Okay, so I leave a tail that's long enough to do something with, um, to, um, there. You can see a little bit bigger holes here 
and you can use this tail to kind of close things up. So we will leave a big enough tail to do that. And I start out for mine with four chains. One, two, three, four. And then I chain one for the single crochet that I'm going to start with. And I do two single crochets into that first chain, then one single crochet in each of the next two chains. And I don't like knots, so I undo it at this point because I'm going to be stitching over it and it'll be less noticeable if it's not a big knot. I'm putting three, whoops, three single crochets into this. And this puts us into position to single crochet back down the other side of that original chain and we are going to crochet right over that tail. And do our two single crochets and then we're going to do our final one into that very first chain leave our tail there and we're not going to end off we're going to be working in rounds now we're not going to um, join and chain or anything we're just going to work in a spiral so that and we're going to keep going around and making as tight a stitches as we can so this doesn't end up ballooning at the bottom there why we're using a smaller hook and we're it's okay to let it cup like this we'll fix that in a minute and just doing one single crochet in each stitch around and you will know when you've gotten around with round two when you get back over here where the tail is And at this point, if you're afraid that yours is not going to stretch, take the end that doesn't have the folded down part and make sure that it fits in there. Especially if you're using a thinner yarn. Just a reality check there. Okay. round two or three I should say continue around making fairly tight stitches and one in each stitch all the way around single crochets and we have because we started with four and we put three on each end and two on each side we have ten all the way around okay we've gone around and we've done three rounds now we are going to turn it this is the wrong side of the stitches and we want the right side so what we're going to do now that we've got something to hang on to is turn it right side out it should look like this and we're going to take and bring that tail out to the outside so that we don't have to dig for it when it's very long and we have it there to neaten up any of these stitches or do whatever we need to do with it to finish off and we can 
weave it back if we don't need to fix any stitches if they haven't opened up when we um, place the slap bracelet inside and you can also at this point make sure that yeah it fits in there and it should be tight but not too tight it sh you should be able to get it in there without at this point as you get farther on it will be a little bit more wiggly to get it down in there but it shouldn't be too hard now you can switch to your bigger hook and one of the tricks that I've come up with is putting my finger in there and because if you hold what I found is if I hold it like this I'm constantly having to keep from snagging the stitches that are on the other side now you can work it that way if you've got some technique but what I found works for me because I kept getting even a little bit <laughs> sometimes splitting the yarn on the other side was just putting my finger down in there and kind of pushing down on that top edge and working my way around that way and you can make for now that you've gone to the bigger hook you can make fairly tight stitches still And you continue this way, going around and around. And once you get, I don't know, say four or five inches, give your tube, because that's basically what this is, give your tube a tug and stretch it, stretch your stitches out. it doesn't need to be um, really dense in order to cover up and make a suitable snail. And after I'll do Finish this round. I'm over here where the tail is. Finish the round. And I'll show you that even at, as short as this is now, I can tug it and see how it becomes longer. And when you've got it to like four inches and you tug it like that, you get almost another inch out of it. And this gives you a better idea about how much farther you need to go to continue around and get it to the length that you need it in order to attach your uh, let's see yellow would look good with this guy okay okay this is the key you need to be over on and I've chosen the side that where I finished around and you need to make sure that when it curls okay I'm right-handed so I want to put it put the eyes on facing this way I don't want to put them on facing that way and I want to make sure that when it curls up he's facing out and not back toward his shell because that looks funky <laughs> so okay so we know it's the right length it's gonna get a little tiny bit more as we do the thing and we want to be able to just stretch it up just a bit to sew it together at the end and that's just about right it's not stretched too much okay to finish this part we need to remove our snap bracelet because it's easier to work with 
And you can continue on this part either with the larger hook or it'll make it a little bit neater if you use the smaller hook for this part. And I guess I'm still at the back. We'll do one here at the front. And let's see. And we got one, two, three. Yeah, we want four. So we're in the right place. Okay. We need to have the eyes facing and put the yarn behind the curve of the finger part of the finger puppet. And we're going to just slip stitch that at first to get it down. And then we are going to single crochet two and three okay and that will serve to fill up this part of the now we're going to be going into first the front first open single crochet stitch, go under the loop on the eyes and make a single crochet. Now we're going to go into the next one and do the same thing. Two three and we're going to do the final one on the front here okay and now we're going to do one two three single crochets and we have finished him. So we want to cut a long tail at least 8 to 12 inches. You can always sew it in at the end and now we need to put it on this through to make sure the stitches don't come out. Okay, now it's secure and we can first put this in making sure that when it snaps he's going to curl up the right way. So we want to put it in like so and scoot it down. And this is also the reason if you have one that doesn't go all the way to the end, you want to, it's easier to push it in if it's not this you're trying to push in. The nice smooth end is easier to get into there. So you just scoot it down, get it all the way down, and then scoot the stitches up and so we are up here and we can put our we don't want to it's easier to work with if he's straight and not trying to get curled up on you while you're working so what we're going to do first is bring this around and kind of go in and lock it down to this 
we're locked down over here with our first stitch we want to do the same thing over here so this side is locked down too okay so what we're going to do is we're going to be stretching and going into this one and then work in underneath the stitches the single crochet stitches that we did around the the loop of the finger puppet so we're just going to come through okay and then we're going to go back up and in to the next one Which one? Yep, yep, yep. This one. There we go. And as you tighten that, that makes them want to... <laughs> okay, now I should point out too, I only did one loop around here because it was well covered. You could possibly have to do two or three to make sure that this part is covered. See how it's showing here? When I get over to this side, I will do another loop on this side. And may, it may have to do two or three. It just depends. So we're going to go into this one now and back over the top of the the snap bracelet and into the stitches underneath the single crochets. We don't want to go into the single crochets. It mats them down. I made that mistake on one of them. Okay, we're down here and we're going to come up into this next place where the single crochets were and out the back and into the next stitch. Okay, now we're going to come into this one and we want to come up here behind and there. And now we can go around this one, two times, however you think you need. That looks pretty well covered, I would say. And now you can come back down through the stitches and back out. Just, that'll secure it and tighten those down. Okay, and now you kind of look at it and you look to see, oh, I can see that, okay? I don't want someone to get um, scratched or something with that edge. So now, I use, that's why I make this extra long. I will go back and forth and go back over those, not in any particular order, but just so that I can close that up and make sure that it's not going to end up being a problem. Just by going back and forth in there. And just catching the backs of those crochets, um, single crochets that I did around the thing. And now, if you look, you can't see any or feel any of the edges and you kind of poke around and you go oh here there's a little edge that's poking out there so now you come back to the front and you can just go under some of these stitches 
kind of on an angle and that goes over that one and then we can come back uh, let's see Whoops, I just brought it back out. I didn't catch anything. All right, let's try. Let's try just going all the way across. Here we go. Whoops, I'm, oh, I'm, I was going under it. Uh, I was pushing it up. So I'm over the top of that plastic that was sticking up. And I'm covering. And you can tell now you can't see it. Very good. Okay, and you kind of check over here on this edge and this edge and make sure there aren't any places where it seems that it could poke through and wear out your yarn with use. So you can scoop back in and go into the back stitches and across and out the other side and make sure everything is seems to be working over here and go down on an angle and this is now just since everything seems secure this is just to weave in the end and make sure it's not going to come popping out. And at this point you can come down and just bring it down and out and clip off that end. And that's well hidden and everything looks fine there and now all you have to do is the same thing down here making sure that no edge is sticking out this seems like a, it, yeah see there's the edge there so I want to sew over that just to, that's why we do a little bit longer tail than you would normally need to weave in so we don't want anyone getting poked or something. Oh, I'm okay. is the front and go back across to the other side because it's probably got the same problem over there and yep there's the edge of the thing so I'm just gonna go right over it and into stitches on the back I'm actually going into those stitches. Okay, I think I have anything that seems open and doing an edge there. And all of the stitches seem pretty even. There, and that will hold it. And it is totally done. It won't work quite as, um, let's, how do you say that? It doesn't snap the same way. You can put it on as a bracelet. And when you want to wrap it up to package it, or to, you know, give it away, I 
tighten down the bracelet to make it more like a snail. So I now have my little snail family here. And we could put this one out so you can see that. There. So that is how to make a very simple snap bracelet snail. It's just single crochets and sewing in it and ends.